Well, as a former state senator, Eric Adams knows Albany well. He knows the legislature well. He knows the levers of power there. I could come up here and share my vision for the city. In his first trip to the state capitol since becoming mayor today, Eric Adams met with the leaders of the state senate and assembly, advocating for the city's pressing needs. We're looking at our earned income tax credit, uh, universal child care. In recent weeks, one issue has been a source of tension between Mayor Adams and the Democratic leadership in Albany, bail reform. Adams believes changes to state bail laws have left the streets of the city more dangerous. 49 states in this country currently allow judges to have uh, dangerousness as a determination. We don't have it in New York. As Adams arrived in Albany, liberal lawmakers had a message for the new mayor. We know that 98 percent of the people who have been awaiting trial from July 2020 until 2021 were not rearrested. Those numbers sound like a huge success to me. Brooklyn Assemblywoman Latrice Walker is one of the architects of the state's bail reform. Walker is standing her ground and she's not alone. Judges can still, can still, if they choose to, put bail on offenses that are violent crimes and some misdemeanors. Assembly Speaker Carl Hasty of the Bronx and Senate Majority Leader Andres Dura Cousins of Westchester have both said to the mayor, we're not really interested in making change, further changes to the bail law. Briefing reporters in Albany, Mayor Adams made clear. My job is to make New Yorkers safe. That's my job. If I get help from other places, that's fine. Without that help, I still must make sure that New Yorkers are safe. Gotham Gazette executive editor Ben Max points out the mayor still has one more powerful ally up in Albany. The governor, Kathy Hochul, she seems to be a little bit more aligned with Eric Adams. 